Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a skirmish listener by me so let's get into it today was going to be your first day to go on a little skirmish and if you were not just anticipating for this then it would be a lie because you bought the dress weeks ago before you even asked them out you even went to a hairstylist this morning to get your hair done and got your nails done as well after all you only wanted to look your best to your skirmish and you only deserve the best too so this was the least you could do you wanted this night to be the most beautiful one the one that you would remember for years and decades hopefully you'll still be together by then and hopefully it will go well Skirmish had picked a place. He didn't tell you where. He only told you to get ready and he will take you from home. And after you were done getting ready, you stayed in the living room, waiting for him to knock. Oh, but once he does, it's like your heart is floating. And so are you, because you rush to the door as soon as you can, opening it with a wide smile on your face as you welcome him in. He looks a bit nervous. But, he looks at you, and it takes a very long time to process how beautiful you are before Shadow giving you a compliment as he clears his throat, and you can clearly see the blush on his cheeks, which honestly makes your day ten times better, as he says. You look breathtaking, Wylan. He was so soft when he said it, that it almost made you want to cry. How can someone be so, so wonderful? And how can someone make someone else's heart fly like that? It felt like he was holding you and making you float all the way to Celestia with him. Just how could he be so magical? And how could he make you want to pass out from just one word and one look? And that's how you end up going to a date together. With him gently holding you by the arm, taking you to a place that you didn't even know existed. It was magical and quiet at the same time. Blue luminescent mushrooms decorating the space. Um, have you been here before? You ask him. You know, besides when you prepared for a date. Well, only once. It was a special place for me. He said, but you left it at that, deciding not to ask any more. Perhaps it was too sensitive, because the way he said it, it seemed like this place had so many memories that he cared about, and honestly it couldn't just happen to be so curious as to divulge, especially when you didn't consider yourself to be so close. After all, this was only technically your first date. So you were going to keep your mouth shut for now. And you decided to talk about something else. Holding his hand. As he talked about the stars. And the way you were thinking of his outfit. And the way you love his eyes. The way you love this moment. And the food he's made too. Imagine. He took the time to pick the place. Prepare everything. And even make the food himself. Just. What kind of boyfriend is he? Is he perhaps an angel? Because he certainly acts like one. And you couldn't help but kiss his cheek, making him blush. But he didn't shy away from it, only closing his eyes softly whenever you kissed him, melting into a touch, into a gentleness and softness that your kisses carried. The tenderness of your love that he so badly craved every day, and that he has wanted, for perhaps decades. This kind of love is the love he dreamt of, the love he desperately wanted to understand, and now he had all of it, and you were devoted to him. You loved him in a way he never thought you could be loved, and for that, he will owe you his entire life. He will do anything to make you smile, because to him, you gave him a heart, a chance to feel feeling you never thought you could understand, a feeling of love 
to love someone and what it's meant to be loved. But if there is anything else you didn't also expect to feel, it just won't. To want someone in certain ways that he certainly did not expect. And perhaps it was because of your shirt that was so tight. Or maybe your skirt too. Or maybe the way you looked at him. Everything about you seemed magical that day. And what is it with Skirmish? And wanted to kiss you and touch you. And do everything you ever dreamt of. Especially now. It didn't seem like the best idea to him. But after a while, I was simply trying to just quit it. To silence his mind. And to ignore all the thoughts that were coming to him. He thought that maybe... He should just act on them instead. That's when he grabbed you by the waist and pulled you into his lap, making you quiet down completely. Your eyes clung to his hands, just observing what he was doing. And then, he put his hands on your thighs, squeezing, before just inching closer to you and giving you a kiss, telling you that he won't do much. He just wants to be able to feel you. And he wants a chance. And who are you to say no to that? Especially when he wanted this too. But all of a sudden, he just looks at you for permission. And you don't know for what. But you just nod anyway. And that's when he begins to unbutton your shirt. Making you just blush brightly. And stare at him with the widest eyes. Um, skirmish? You say... For lack of better words. You didn't really know what to say or what to ask. Your mind was just all over the place. But he only looked at you with love. Calming you down. He only unbuttoned the top first few buttons. And started kissing the top of your chest. And then, took it off completely later. And what happened then was a mystery. But you were really glad for that night. And as for it being memorable, you were quite sure that this would be a night that you would never happen to forget, even if you wanted to. Not that you would ever want that. But if there is anything you loved about this, it's the fact that Scaramouche made you feel like a princess. And honestly, that was part of his goal. You certainly were his princess and his angel, and that's what you should feel like too.